Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Yura and Rike. The first thing I'm going to talk about are the main advantages and disadvantages of both of these tools. Then I will talk about the main features, what they actually offer and then I will talk about the pricing and also what I actually like about these tools and what I don't like. First of all, I'm not paid by any of these programs to like promote them. I'm making this review because I enjoy making these videos. So let's just start. Now, Yura. Yura has a huge advantage comparing to Rike. Let me write it up here. Yura has a sprint. This is something that Rike lacks. And if you want to use sprints for your um, like project management, I would definitely go with your Yura. In other way, Rike is much more simple to use comparing to Yura in my in my opinion. Like when I was learning how to use Yura, it took me a really long time comparing to Rike how to create tasks, how to uh, use the sprints, how to solve the issues in uh, Yura. I mean, in that way, Yura likes it. So if I would be a developer and I want to, I have a team into which I want to like provide what kind of issues we need to solve and some errors and some sprints, I would go definitely with Yura. With backlog, also with creating effective reports, Yura is top-notch program, but if I would be in project management, like with 5, 10, 15 people, a Rike is a really good choice. I mean, it really depends how admin uh, like set up the Yura, it's really important. So if the admin uh, did set up it wrongly, you're going to have really problems, a lot of problems in Yura. Now, to compare what they actually offer and what kind of features they have, Rike has a list here. They have Kanban boards. This is same also in uh, Yura. Also, they have tables, which are good. You can also do the budgeting and creating tasks, creating subtasks is really simple in Rike. Then you got also the gun charts that you can use. Now in Rike, you can also do, let me show you. You can also do the reports here and create a dashboards. And adding like the widgets here, if you want to set it up in a different way. So that's really good. Yura also has like with a roadmap, with backlog, with board here, with reports, with issues that you can like see everything here with code for developers if you want to. And yeah, the pricing. Both of them offer free, free plan. So up to five years in Rike. This is like really good if you want to like with two, three people. Uh, use right go for it now your pricing let me show you you get also the free account up to 10 people then you get like standard per user and that's like up to 10,000 users and you can see it right here you can really compare it what do, what do you actually need and what do you want like in automation you get also everywhere advanced permissions you have on only in the standard version Audit logs, anonymous access also. So even the free version is good. The only disadvantage if free account of Nira is the two gigabytes file storage. So yeah, now to going to back to Rike, if I'm going to compare it, that's $7 per user. They offer $980 per user, but it really depends. So if for me, Rike is much simpler to use, I would go definitely with Rike, all in. But if you want to use sprints, go with the Yura. That's what I think. And it's like really up to you what you want, right? So thank you very much, everybody. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll really happy to help you and provide some deeper guidance. But this is just on the surface. Uh, both of these platforms offer integrations with other applications, like most of them have it. And yeah, see ya and goodbye.